Okay, boys, today I'll be doing a player analysis on the new Ander Herrera um, Fantasy FC card. I've completely forgot this guy existed, to be honest. Uh, but the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go on to Fop Mob here, and I'm going to have a little prediction of how much I think that they will be getting upgraded. So, Athletic Club, they... Um, I don't know if this... They, no, it doesn't count. So they would have had a draw, but it didn't count. So, they have got Las Palmas, Deporto, Alvarez, Real Madrid, and then Mallorca in the Copa del Rey. Um, and does Ander Herrera play every single game? I've, I've got a feeling that he doesn't, to be honest. He didn't even play. He's probably injured, isn't he? What are you doing with these? Yeah, he's injured until the end of March. So, he might make one appearance. So, the three appearances and the goal slash assist is done. They're not getting it. But, Athletic Club are fairly good. They're fifth in the league, so I back them to get two, got, um, two wins. And they've recently, they've got a few sort of four goal dubs so they might get the 11 goals but it's not going to be looking like more than one upgrade here boys unfortunately so in the actual review then let's actually do this so he's six foot high high three star four star right foot controlled explosive that's good actually brilliant start high high work rate for a center mid amazing and a three star skill moves is a bit dead but who uses skill moves but no respectfully if you if you've got a player with five star skills how often do you use the five star skills because I just never do. He could play CDM to be fair, but you know he also fits in as a centre mid. Should be nice and easy to link to, considering he's a Liga and Spain. Very nice, yeah. Eighty four pace, that's good. Strong, strong pace as well, and and the acceleration links up to the sprint speed, which is rare to be honest for one of these cars. The shooting looking very nice there. The finishing's actually really low. Uh, well, it's lower than everything else, but it's, it's, it's still good shooting for a CDM and a centre mid. Oh my god, that passing is amazing. That passing is bloody brilliant. Wow. I want to have a look, actually, quickly. Oh my god, he's got such good passing play styles. I actually maybe play him as a CDM because he, he could be a little bit of a D-line playmaker for you. Just play balls over the top. He's probably got really, really... He's probably like Kevin De Bruyne passing. That is amazing. Uh, dribbling is good there as well. Defending's brilliant. Yeah, I'd say CDM for this guy, guys. Honestly, he looks like a fairly nice CDM. More of a ball-playing CDM than a defending CDM, though. But he's got dead ball as well. Intercepts, slide tackles. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. CDM has really good play styles on there. And he's an 85 and an 86. Well, both a team in a week. Is that a bit of an overprice? Now, I feel like if you've got a Liga team, this is definitely a card you want to get in there. But apart from that, probably not. 